Hi everyone, so right now uh, continuing on with the Diamond Press uh, reviews. Um, this is the new uh, standing card kit congrats slash celebration um, that they have on HSN. Actually it's already on HSN now so you guys can check it out. Diamond Press did send these items free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. So I did see a sneak peek of this because um, it was in their email blast. If you're not signed up with their email blast from Diamond Press, you can do that at mydiamondpress.com. You know, and they'll email you whenever they have things to email about. <laughs> and some of those things are usually little sneak peeks coming into um, HSN Craft Day, which is actually at midnight tonight, right? On the 8th. I suppose it depends when you're watching this, but it is for June 8th. Uh, I know a couple of items are going to be held for later in the month, but they might have, you might have seen them already in the preview that Beth did, or like I said, in the email there. Um, so I'm going to start with this one here uh, today. Oh my gosh, this is so sizable. You know, it's funny. I didn't really think about when I saw the little like sneak peek. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Um, there, it's basically a card size because this is going to make a card for you that you saw in the intro there. Um, how cool. Let me open this up really quick just to get to the last part here so you can kind of see what we're going for. So this base folds up so it looks more like a card and then when it pops down or open or however you want to describe that, um, this is revealed and um, it's like a little stand-up card and I, I love the trophy, the little cake. I mean, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. Oh, cute. I was just kind of reading what, what it says there. So we have our instructions, full color, so cute. I, yeah, this blows me away. How cute is that? Okay, so we have all the stamps um, to make your bases, to make like a little doily base. You have your cake pieces, little banners, uh, time to celebrate, just married, uh, happy birthday, you take the cake, let them eat cake. Okay, dum, I'm being all tongue-tied for whatever reason. It's just because the other day Miranda was singing this, dum-dum-da-dum, uh, and then I was like, oh, you're doing the bride's march? She's like, no. I'm just doing that thing where they do at the weddings and the, the, uh, the bride walks in. I'm like, okay, all right, well, anyway. <laughs> so I saw this cute. She's like, uh, no. Uh, okay, uh, too funny. And then all of these sentiments here. So we have happy birthday, thank you, happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day, congratulations, so proud of you, first place, second place, third place. How cute would that be if you had like a little party and you had like little um, prizes like that? Uh, just adorable. Athlete, teacher, best ever, actor. I mean, there's just... Uh, happily ever after the little pieces that go on your little um, ribbon or metal or however you want to look at that the um, candles and we have number one and again son wife student kid friend boss like so many things uh, cutting folder for the marquee if you do not have the marquee you can just put that to the side but any of these dies go through any uh, machine that will cut thin metal dies so they're all interchangeable all right, so here we have the base. This is so cool. And then the pieces that make, you know, the other decorative base piece, if you'd like. You have your little um, wedding couple there. Um, you know, the stuff for the ribbon you have for your candles. I mean, there's just all kinds of things here. So I'm going to grab some paper. I think, huh. I was going to just cut this in, out of like gold paper or something. We'll see. Okay, I'll be right yeah, back. I think I'm going to use a trophy one because Father's Day is coming up and um, I think it'll be really sweet. Um, they have an example of with the best mom or just whatever it is that you want to put on there either way. I'm just going to do the gold so I'm just going to cut it out. I'm not going to do the stamping on this one. So we need this guy. And it says you need um, two. just want to see why we're doing two. That's probably just to make it extra sturdy. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So uh, I'm going to cut two. I do have this um, matte metallic gold. Um, I think it would be like really cute and really, really shiny gold too. That would be awesome. Or like silver or whatever color. But, um, and then we need two of the standing base, which is this guy right here. And I'm going to put it like on a wood base so it looks more trophy-ish. Um, I have this brown paper and then I recall that I had this really cool stamp in this older set from Diamond Press. Look at this. The wood grain. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to pick like a dark brown color. And I'm just going to stamp on here um, a few times. Let me get that ink. I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do is stamp um, on this paper first just to get some wood grain. And we need two of them. So I'm just going to stamp it randomly. I think 
it'll cover the whole thing either way so I'll just start like here I'm just gonna stamp across this whole page just so that I have that down and then I can cut it out so I'll be right back I'm just gonna do the same thing you saw me do but across this whole page okay so I'll cut the two from here and then I brought out my stamping mat just so I can get that stamped a little better and I'll cut two of these guys out from this and then we can you know, decorate it up however you like. The you, This one does come with like a little base that would go right in here. Um, and so I just need some white paper and I was just going to stamp it with this grasshopper. And then we can also do the stamping for the other pieces if you want to make your ribbon and uh, your nameplate and all that kind of good stuff. So let me grab some white paper and we'll get this stamped up and then just put it together. Okay, so I have some different things uh, that we're going to stamp with here. So I have a grasshopper and I'm going to do... Um, two of these, the trophy base. Oh, that's so cute. I love the way it has the little cut out there for that little bit of, like, atten uh, attention to detail there. I'm going to try to lay this down. And since this is the first time stamping this, I might go back over it or do it again uh, a few times. We do need two of these. I just want to make sure I get a good inking and there goes that um what's the air bubble remember i told you guys that whenever you have a big stamp you want to make sure the air bubbles are not in between that solid stamp and your paper but what i'm gonna do is come up from underneath it haha -ha. <laughs> again rubber mat helps with that um precision press so that way you can just do it again um so i'm going to stamp two of this and then we have our cutie little uh, metal. And I'm just going to copy what they did here just so that like the colors of blue and blue ribbon are obviously that's the best, right? So um, I'm just going to do that. And you know what? These are colored the exact same colors. Light blue, dark blue, dark blue. So I'm just going to grab this and do the light blue. I'm just going to scrub the top of that. This is a very juicy ink pad. Alright. Just letting that soak in there. So cute. And then I need to stamp out... Let me remove this. Um, with the dark blue ink. these two here oopsie <laughs> they're backwards that's not gonna work all right here we go so again just kind of uh, prepping the surface of the stamp and then I'm just dab dab dabbing super juicy all right we have that so pretty so cute um, and then I'll do this guy and then within that, you can stamp something, right? So we have all our sentiments, and like I said, I'll make a Father's Day card, so I will go with something that has to do with that. And then you also have your little placard that you can put on there. So I'm just going to stamp this one. Let that ink really soak into the paper. Oh my gosh, look at the impression on that. So pretty. Okay. Um, let me choose my sentiments and I'll be right back. So we have best ever and we have dad or however you, you know, whatever you want to put in there. So I'm going to use that one. We also have just the number one, would be really cute. And I'm going to stamp these. I think I'm going to stamp the best ever first, that way I know exactly where that is. And then I'll stamp the dad part. So I'm just looking down there, I see best ever. I'm just looking right down there. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, and then I'll do Dad in the green. Again, you can use a precision tool for this if you would like. That way you stamp exactly where you want. I am eyeballing it. And that's... Oops, sorry. My new lighting. Uh, not bad. So we have that. And then uh, we have our two pieces. We have all our stuff for our little metal. Oh, this guy. 
I want to stamp this and I want to stamp them. You know, it'd be really cute if you use like gold, like pigment or maybe put some clear uh, embossing powder over or something like that to make it look like a really um, nice placard. But let me grab some ink and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am gonna do that. So I have some pigment ink in uh, gold here. Um, I have my clear embossing powder and something to catch that with there. And let's see here. Since I pretty much always forget to do this, I'm just going to add a little, my embossing buddy there. And I have the little stamp here. And I'm just gonna ink that up really nice. So I just want to get a lot of ink, I'm sorry, especially because I'm just going to do this one time. If I had to, this on a precision press, I would just ink it up and do it again. But we really want to get that ink on there. Okay. And it is a pigment ink. Um, you want to do this probably with the pigment ink, and it takes a little while to dry, so you... Actually, it takes a long while to dry, so you have time to get your embossing powder on there. And if you want to stamp it in clear, you know, Watermark ink, you can do that, and then put gold embossing powder, and you'll still get the gold effect. Let me put this guy away. And just use it like a little funnel and pours it right back in. All right. And then I'm just going to hit it with my heat tool here. And with the heat tool, as soon as, you know, it has to, it takes a little bit to warm up. So as soon as you get that and you see that melting, you gotta just move away from there because you don't want to overdo it. So you see how it's becoming shiny already? So I just move on to another area. Okay, and I will be back. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna use Happy Father's Day. But again, you know, there's lots of things on there. Um, Let's see what I want to stamp with. I was going to use this one, but let's remove this. And we have Happy Father's Day. I'm going to put it on this opposite side just because I don't want to get the ink, that over stamping I have on there. And I just use some black ink. And again, I'm going to eyeball it, but if you want to use a tool, a stamping tool would probably be best. And I'm trying to look straight down here. There it is. All right, let me clean up and then we'll get to okay, cutting. We need two of the base. Um, I just want to show you. I just stamped across that whole page and then just cut what I need. And again, if you can tilt this just a little bit when you put it into your um, marquee, just so it doesn't hit that speed bump there, you'll be good to go. And so I'm just kind of eyeballing what that might look like just a little bit. Takes up the whole folder, pretty much. And... that through. Perfect, so we have the two. Um, I'm going to keep these just in case I need to make apertures, so those extra pieces of paper that I still have there uh, will come in handy in just a bit here. And then, again, I'll cut out two of the trophy, and that I'll just run through, and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just want to show you, well, I'm probably going to shake the camera, but um, how pretty is that? It just comes out gorgeous. Okay. You might have heard my son come out of his room and say, Mom. <laughs> Immediately. Uh, he's so sweet. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, let me cut these things down. Just to kind of get them off of here. Give them some space because I don't know how much um, will actually be needed around each edge. And then, let's see. So yeah, I mean, I can eyeball this. I think we can eyeball it pretty good. It looks like you can see right through. I mean, I can see right down in there and capture that. So I think that's what I'll do. But if you want to make an aperture, you would just run this through with a little piece of tape. Uh, makes like a little window for you and then you can just eyeball it, you know, place it where you want. So, I mean, I'm hoping that, again, I'm kind of at a weird angle because I'm not looking right over. I'm looking more in this direction. Put some good tape on that. Let's not cover that area. And I'll do the same thing for all the pieces, just uh, line them up, get them stuck down, and get them cut out. All these guys and all these other pieces here, and I'll be right back. Cutting, I do want to show you, this one's a little bit different, because this one has some area in the back that's going to get cut off. But then this area, so I'll show you right now. 
So I just kind of eyeballed it, but I'll use this aperture for the next one. So it gets a nice clean cut on that back side there. So I'm just going to open that up. And this is basically making an aperture for me here. And I'm just going to see kind of where I want to place that, like right about there. Normally I would have this on my table. And now I can cut this out and it'll be exactly where I put it. Okay. So we're going to move on to uh, these other uh, parts here. So the, as far as number one would be stamping cut for like the trophy, you know, I'm just going to use the gold. I'm not going to use the stamping, but we are going to start here in this next uh, part. So let me get everything popped out of their little spots here and we will start putting the card together. Okay, so we have all our pieces here and it says to start with these guys with number two. Center and here trophy base or doily on both standing pieces as shown. So they're both oriented this way. And we're just gonna glue those down. Basically right by that tab is what it looks like. So let's get that going. And then we're gonna do some folding after that. So let me just get these down. Right there. And I will be right back. I'll do the other one the same way. Okay, and then on this next part, all we're gonna do is says to score on all the scoring lines and fold them all away from you. So I'm just gonna go to every score line and fold it back. Same thing for the other one, and that's all we're doing on these. So I'll, I'll fold both of them. And then step three uh, for the trophy, it says to go ahead and stick them together. So I'll do that. And then um, put together our little metal ribbon here. So pretty. I'm gonna get that. And then our little um, ribbon here. I did bring just one little dimensional adhesive. I probably used two. Oops. I don't want to gouge that too much to pick it up, so there we go. Put that on here. So cute, like just like that, it looks really nice too. I'm gonna pop this on here. And then I'll glue this together here. Oh, adorable. All right, I'm gonna wait for these things to set up and then we'll move on to uh, step four. And just to go ahead and just put your little ribbon on. I mean, you can do it probably afterwards, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. So cute. <laughs> So it's kind of drying because obviously I just put that glue there, but I'm going to move on and actually step four would be if you're doing the cake. So like if you're doing the cake, you would do step four. If you're doing the trophy, you would do step three. Um, and then now we're on step five, which is just to take this and on one side, so as you can see that little corner tab pieces down here, it has alignment pieces, like little slits that help you align this. So what you're going to do is just put some glue and that's gonna help us put down our trophy and then we're gonna sandwich it, the trophy or the cake or whatever it is that you're using in between the next piece. So I'm gonna pay attention to those guidelines that we have here. And I think right about there is probably good. Again, I like to use white glue so it takes me a moment to have to kind of wait. But if you're using a dry adhesive, you would just move to the next thing, which is to put glue on this one. Let me open this up. So now we're going to put glue in the same area, but then we're going to pop it down, sandwiching it here. Now I suppose you can put glue on this if you would prefer. Um, the instructions said to put glue on here, so that's why I'm doing it that way. And then, oh you know what, are we putting glue across the whole thing? 
Yeah. This too. <laughs> Just want to make sure. All right. I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and straight. And pretty good. And if you look at the image there, it does show the glue all the way across that second piece, right? And this piece is just within the lines. And it says as much in the uh, right up there. All right, I'm gonna let this settle because again, I'm using a white glue, but I will be right back. Step six, it says to fold up standing base as shown. <laughs> look at this. I mean, how cute, how quick too, it just pops right up. Okay, and then it says to do that, but then it says to flatten it out. So basically, you know, something like this. And we're gonna put glue on these tabs and that's what we're gonna do to adhere this guy here and this one back here, of course. So I'm just gonna do one at a time. I'll put a little bit of glue, adhere it, and then I'll put a little glue on the other side and adhere it. So I'm gonna hold that down. I'm not gonna let it go quite yet. And then same thing for this side. <laughs> so cute. Um, you know, I was thinking about it. I might have to readjust this guy. Only because I did pop this up. Or you know what, what I guess what I could do is just flatten it out. Just in case it gets stuck. If it gets stuck, I'll just take this off and then I glue it down flat. Okay, so I'll hold that one. And now I'm gonna put some little glue on this one and then I'll hold this one. This is so fun, because just even holding it, like, it wants to do its thing, you know? So we'll check that out in just a second. And I'm going to glue this on here, so as I'm holding that one. And you can uh, put dimensionals on this one, too, if you'd like. I think that's good to go. So sweet. Okay, I'm gonna let that set up. I'll be right back. Right, guys, so this is basically it. I mean, this is it. <laughs> so this, the step seven would be just getting tongue tied it. today. I was gonna say it makes such a nice size. Look at that. So cute. Look at. Oh. And I'm sure there's probably other things that we could kind of figure out to put in here. That would be very cute. Uh, same way to use it, just you know, have it on that base. I, I think this is just adorable. Um, so we have that. And let's see if our little ribbon will get in the way when we flatten out. So basically you're gonna flatten it out to send it or you know, put it in your envelope or however. But I just wanna clear. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it, it worked. It just slid right under there. So that was a nice happenstance there. Check it out. And then the sizing on this, just so you can kind of have an idea, let me see if I can. It's five and a half by four. So four here, five and a half. So it fits perfectly in a standard A2 size envelope. And look at that. So cool. Thank you so much, Diamond Press, for saying this for review. You guys will have the links there for you. Um, keep watching. I have a couple more uh, kits to try out for you. And, you know, have a great craft day and have fun, guys. Um, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.